And a crowded field of Democrats are facing off today in the 10th District Congressional Primary. They include Congressman Mondaire Jones, former Congresswoman Elizabeth Holtzman, and Prosecutor Daniel Goldman. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge live in Lower Manhattan. Natalie, there have been some big changes this year due to this redistricting we've been talking about. Well, Chris and Mary, yes, there absolutely has been. Now, since the lines were redrawn in this district, it is essentially new. It is a rare free-for-all for this open seat. And we have been speaking to voters about what they have been looking for. Some tell us the skyrocketing rent. Some tell us safety. And some would like to see the city return to what it was pre-pandemic levels. Now, this 10th congressional district includes all of Lower Manhattan, where we are, as well as parts of Brooklyn. Today's ballot features 13 candidates. A recent Emerson College poll showcased the top six and leading the way, former federal prosecutor Dan Goldman, followed by Assemblywoman Yulan Nu, first-term Congressman Mondaire Jones, City Councilwoman Carlina Rivera, Assemblywoman Joanne Simon, as well as former Congresswoman Elizabeth Holtzman. And here is our story. People that can just reform the city based on what's been changing for the past years or so and make it a more livable place and bring everything back to what it was before the pandemic. Voters in Prospect Heights sounded off on what matters most to them. Someone that would ensure the rents can go down and public safety. Safety is top of mind. We would like to hang out in the park. Now you're scared. You can't even go there because you don't know what's going to happen. Today's ballot features 13 candidates. A recent Emerson College poll showcased the top six, leading the way former federal prosecutor Dan Goldman, followed by Assemblywoman Yulene New. First term Congressman Mondaire Jones, City Councilwoman Carlina Rivera, Assemblywoman Joanne Simon, and former Congresswoman Elizabeth Holtzman. As for the Republican candidate, risk analyst Benin Hamden is running unopposed in what is a heavily Democratic district. I'm really hoping that candidates think about working families and think about progressive stances and really uh, holding our leaders accountable. We are fortunate enough to live in one of the most diverse cities in the entire country, and I would love to have elected officials who reflect that. Now, again, this district is heavily blue, and so winning it means there is a likely win for that person in the general election in November. We are live in Lower Manhattan. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.